Praise you, Lord. God, once again, for giving us this day. We are so blessed to be with one another. I may be here, but I definitely know, and we have to understand that the Lord is omnipresent. He is, he is present everywhere. Um, if the Lord is with, uh, with me right now, He is with me, use, going to use me again to send His word. The Lord also is there with you because He is going to um, give you more wisdom. He's going to open your spirit in order for you to receive His, God, His word. So before we start, let us pray all together. Lord God, we come into your presence, Lord God, and we praise you and we thank you, Lord God, for giving another, giving us another Thursday, Lord God. This is another Thursday, Lord God. Dumaan, Panginoon. We may have attended, Lord God, our last service, online service, man, or face-to-face, -face, Lord God. There was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Probably some of us, Lord God, may have experienced some problems, some tr troubles, Lord God, but we praise you, Lord God for giving us another day, Lord God. Yes, Lord. It's Thursday, Lord God. Sabi Panginoon niyo sa inyo salita, we always have to remember that today is the day that you have made, Amen. Lord God. And the only thing that we have to do is to rejoice, Lord God, and be glad in it. We rejoice, Lord God, and we are so glad that you have given us another day, Lord God, full of hope, Lord God, that you, that you had seen, Lord God, in us, Lord God, that we're going to go through and be done, Lord God, with all of these things. Maraming maraming salamat, Lord God. Holy Spirit of God, we praise you and we thank you, Lord God, Panginoon, for reminding us of God's promises, Lord God. It's just like also the same, Lord God. We are reminding you, Lord God. We put you into remembrance, Lord God. Ang sabi mo, Panginoon, sa inyong salita, kung merong dalawa, o, uh, kung merong isa o dalawa, o tatlo nagkakatipon sa inyong pangalan, ikaw ay kasama namin, Lord God. Lord, this is what we confess, that you are with us, Lord God, and you are going to deliver, Lord God, your word. Lord, you promised, Lord God, that one word from you, Lord God, one word from you, Lord God, it will change our lives forever. And we praise you, Lord God, for your faithful promises, Lord God. Once again, to you be the glory and honor, Lord God. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Praise God. So it's another Thursday once again. Um... Muli kong pinapala ulit sa inyo na ihanda po natin ang ating mga notebook. Okay? Handa natin po ang ating mga notebook at papel at ang ating mga ball pen para pag meron po tayong narinig na kumbaga eh kin, kin, uh, uh, kinurot ang iyong puso o uh, how do you, uh, hindi ko ma ma masabi, parang naantig ka. For example, like doon sa salitan, ito yung nagbigay, kiliti sa iyo, nagbigay ng pag-asa sa iyo. Sulat mo na agad yun. Kasi nga, yun yung ano, yun yung pamamaraan ng pakikipag-usap sa'yo ng Panginoon. Remember, um, if you're going to open, let us open our Bible there. Hallelujah. Hindi ako very familiar doon. Um, in Timothy, let us open in Timothy. Chapter 3, verse 16. Ang sabi niyo doon, verse 16, correct. Yeah, verse 16. All scripture is inspired by God. And it is useful. And it is useful. Sabi nga nun. Remember last Sunday, ang sinabi natin, ang, ang, ang binigay sa atin ng salita ng Diyos, ang sabi niya doon sa 1 John, ah, sa John chapter 1, in the beginning, there was the Word. And the Word is with God. Okay. So it's also just the same thing that in Psalms 119, Psalms 119 verse 105, ang sabi niya doon, the Word, the Word, ah, the word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Okay? The word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Same thing also we have heard in um, in, 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 in um, John chapter 8. John chapter 8 where, where God said, uh, He is the light of the world. So you have to understand, uh, lagi pong natin iisipin, pag nagbabasa po tayo ng salita ng Diyos, we are not reading this one, it's because sinabi ni Pastor. We are not reading the, the, the Bible, it's because mandato tayo, mandated tayo. But you have to understand the reason why you are reading the Word of God, it's because you have interest in Him. Interesado ka malaman ang mga pangako niya sa iyo. Remember, tandaan mo ito, ang, uh, ang kaaway, the devil, ay may plan, kung ang Panginoon ay may plano sa iyo, ang si Satanas din ay may plano sa iyo. Kaso nga lang, ang pinagkaiba nila, ang Panginoon, ang plano sa iyo ay maganda. Maging maayos ang iyong buhay. Ang plano ni Satanas, sirain ang iyong buhay. Okay. So, sabi nga noong na last Sunday, if you have, um, if you have heard the, um, the message last Sunday, it says there, 
in order for us to come to know who God is. Dapat mas lumalalim pa tayo sa ating pakilala sa Panginoon. Alam mo ba yun yung mga paghalimbawa nanonood ng mga yung mga concert, concert, yung mga mga Kristiyano nga pag for example, may concert, may concert ang Planet Shaker or Hill Songs. Eh. Unang-unahin sa pagbili ng mga ticket chain eh. Ganun ba ka interes as in yung iba bumibili pa ng mga ano, yung iba naranasan mo ba yun na Halimbawa yung yung paborito mong um baba makanora honor ka no panahon ka na pala mga dekada makanora honor ka lahat ng poster ni Nora Honor ang buong kwarto mo panay poster niya lahat ng ultimong punda ng unan mo makanora honor ganun mga walang himala okay ganun ba ganun tayo dapat ka fanatic it's because you know we, when we read the word of god pag habat, habang tayo inababasa ng salita ng Diyos mas lalo mo siya nakikilala he is more The Lord, sabi nga ng, sabi nga ng Panginoong Heso Kristo doon eh, paano mo, paano, mo, paano mo makikilala ang Diyos Ama? How, do you, how, how deep do you know God is if you do not even know me? Kasi nga, kung kilala mo ang Panginoong Heso Kristo, mas makikilala mo pa ng gusto ang Diyos Ama. He is more than a father. He is mo, Jesus Christ is more than a savior. Come on, people. Come on, people. We have been doing this one for many times, for a very long time. Matagal, medyo matagal-tagal na rin po ang ating online. Dapat medyo ma-advance na rin tayo. Ang sabi po nga ng salita, sa, um, if, if I'm not mistaken, sa, sa Hebrews, let us not be babies always drinking milk. Dapat kumain na tayo ng baboy. Bagamat, eh, well, wag naman, wag naman baboy. Ako nga hindi ko makain ng baboy eh. Huwag karne. Dapat kumain na tayo ng something chewy ba? Okay. We are not we, we are not baby Christians anymore. Okay? We are not baby. Remember tandaan mo to. Sa, sa Panginoon there is no condemnation, but there is always conviction. Ano po yung ano ba yung difference ng condemnation at conviction? Pag condemnation, yun yung si Satanas. Wala kang kwenta. Ikaw babasa-basa ka ng Bible pero nagkakamali ka naman. Yan yung si Satanas yan. Yan yung condemnation. Pero ang conviction, anak, hindi ganyan yan. Dapat dapat to ang gawin mo. Ito ang tamang daan. That is what you call conviction is. Sabi ng Panginoon in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, The scripture is inspired by God. It is used to teach what is true, to make us realize what is wrong in our lives, to correct us when we are wrong, and then teaches us to do what is right. Ito daw ang salita ng Diyos. Itinatama niya tayo. Ito, bukod sa tinatama tayo, tinuturoan tayo kung paano lumakad. Bakit? Kasi nga ito yung magandang plano ng Panginoon sa atin. Praise God. Praise God. So, um, when, when we receive Jesus Christ, you have to understand that you are called. Hindi mo pinili. Always remember this one. Hindi mo pinili ang Panginoon para ikaw ay mahalin. Pero pinili ka ng Panginoon para ikaw ay mahalin. It only means to say, You have to tell it to yourself. I am cold. Sabihin mo sa iyong sarili, I am cold. Again, I am cold. Hindi cold na malamig ha, C-O-L-D. C-A-L-L-E-D. Tinawag. Again, I am cold. Very good. Praise God. It only means to say that when you when you said that you are cold, pag sinabi mo sa sarili mong I am cold, it only means to say you have a purpose. All of us has a purpose. Wow. Uh, Paano yan? Eh, ikaw kasi brother Penny nag-aral ka eh tapos ka ng graduate eh blah 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 or something eh, eh ikaw um, matagal ka na sa Panginoon at marami ka ng alam sa salitan no sa mata ng Diyos kung ikaw ay nabubuhay kung ikaw ay may hininga kahit ano man anong kahit whatever uh, whatever um, gender you have lalaki ka man babae ka man kung ano man ang edad mo matanda ka man bata ka man bagets ka man nasa kalagitnaan ka man Always remember, because you receive God as your Lord and Savior, you receive Jesus Christ as your, as your Lord and Savior, you are called. You have a purpose in life. May layunin ang iyong, uh, may layunin ka sa mundong ito. Always remember that. You have a purpose. Whatever state, whatever status you are, you have a purpose. Kahit ano pa yung mali mo, like how many mistakes you had, you had, uh, you had made before, Remember, when the Lord looks at you, pag nakatingin ang Panginoon sa iyo, He's not looking at you and then counting lahat ng mga ginawa. Ah, kanina nagsinungaling ka. Ah, kanina nagnenok ka. Ah, kanina hindi ka sumunod sa nanay mo. Ah, kanina inaway mo ang asawa mo. Ah, kanina nagmura ka. He's not looking at these things. When the Lord is looking at you, Jeremiah, if, if you're going to open uh, the Bible in Jeremiah 1.12, Jeremiah 1.12, 
Jeremiah can write it down there. Jeremiah 1.12, the Lord says there, I am watching to see. Everybody say, I am watching to see. Everybody say, God is watching. God is watching, God is watching me God is watching to see His Word working in my life. Amen. God is watching. Right now, God is watching to see perfectly that His Word is working in your life right now. You have a purpose. God called you. Sa Iglesia, if you're going to open your Bible in, in um, 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Again, 1 Corinthians. Sa Tagalog po, unang Korinto. There are two books of Corinthians. Meron tayong first book of Corinthians. Meron tayong second book of Corinthians. So let's go now first on Corinthians. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7. It says there, A spiritual gift is given to each of us so we can help each other. Again, a spiritual gift. A spiritual gift is given to all of us, to each of us. Ito ay hindi inimbento. Ito ang salita ng Diyos. Remember, John chapter 1, verse 1, In the beginning is the Word, and the Word was with God. John chapter, I don't want to make um, mistakes on this one. This is the Word of God. It says there, In the beginning, the Word was already existed. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. In the beginning was the Word. The Word already existed. Buhay na. Bago pa naging, bago pa naging mundo, bago pa nagkaroon ng Earth, before there was a solar system. Remember, you can find the, the Earth inside the, the solar system, and you will be finding the solar system inside the galaxy, and you will be finding the galaxy inside the, the, the universe. Before God created the universe, the Word existed. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was God. It says here, a spiritual gift is given to each of us so that we can help each other. Meaning to say, kapatid, meron kang spiritual gift. Wow! Meron kang spiritual gift? Oo, bukod sa salvation. Aside from the gift of salvation, meaning to, meaning to say, um, uh, ang, 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 uh, remember, pag tayo ay nawala na sa mundong ito, sa kapupunta. Dalawang bagay lang yan. You can go to heaven or you can go to hell. Dalawang bagay lang yan. There is such noting as purgatory. Like for example, like pag namatay ka, book ka muna sa purgatorio, purgatorio, sa purgatory, tapos lahat ng mga nandun, lahat yung mga buhay, ipapanalangin ka para umakit ka ng langit. There is such noting that was written here in the Bible. In the Bible, when when we die, we go two, two ways. We can go to heaven or we can go to hell. But you have we have to understand that if if we die here on earth, kung wala na tayo sa mundong ito, tayo ay kukunin ng Panginoon sa langit. But this, pero habang tayo pa lang ay nandito sa lupa, the Lord has given us spiritual gifts. May kaloob ka, kapatid. Sabihin mo sa sarili mo, may kaloob ako. I have a gift. I have a spiritual gift. Ano-ano ba itong mga gift na ito, Brother Penan? Ito ba ay... Uh, 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 magagamit ko ba yan? Uh, kasi anak ko, nag-aaral, magagamit. Yung gift ba nibibigay sa akin ng Panginoon, mamaya-maya ba, meron makakaroon ba ako ng cellphone? Gift ba ni Lord yan? Meron makakatok sa akin na Lazada? O meron po bang nakatira dyan na ganito? Okay. O kaya yung, ano, yung gift na yan, baka inaasahan mo, meron ka ng ano, chooks to go, mamayang, mamayang hapunan, nakakainin. O hindi ko natin alam kung paano kumilis ang Panginoon. But what, this is not what I am talking about. What I'm talking about here when I talk about spiritual gifts here is that the Lord has plans for you. It's just like also the same thing with me. Mali ko ba? Promise, if you're going to know about me, promise, matatawa ka. Ako nga, tawan-tawa ako eh. Natatawa ako hindi dahil ano, nakokorin ako sa ginagawa ng Panginoon. Pero natutuwa ako, hindi natatawa, natutuwa ako kasi nga, my gosh, hindi ko alam, hindi ko pala mai... Nung ako ay nag-aaral, promise, Hindi ko nakita ang sarili ko ang nagtuturo. I never saw myself as a teacher. I never saw myself as a teacher. But because suddenly I came to know Him at patuloy akong ma-attend ng church, remember kapatid, it doesn't necessarily mean that if you are a Christian, you're not going to make mistakes. I make a lot of mistakes. I make a lot of mistakes. And the reason why I love, 
I love God more because He gave me this church. Hindi ko po tinataas ang iglesyang ito. I am not lifting to you my our church, the life-giving spirit church, no. Because there is such no thing as a perfect church. But one thing that I am so thankful of, kay Lord, kasi nga kahit, kahit nagkamali ako, mahal ako ng aking mga ka-churchmates. They understand me. Alam nila ang aking pinagdadaanan. They pray for me. It's also just the thing, same thing that I, I do to them. That is our lesson for today. All of us have spiritual gifts. Ang sabi ng Panginoon doon, some are called to be apostles, some are called to be prophets, some are called to be teachers, some are called to make to do miracles, some are called to have the gift of healing, some of them, they are called to help others, some of them are given the gift of leadership, some of them are given the gift of unknown language or speaking of tongues. Ito yung mga kaloob daw na binigay sa atin ng Panginoon. Ang iba, magiging apostol. Yung iba naman daw magiging propeta. Yung iba naman daw magiging guro. Yung iba naman daw ang pagkakatawag nila ay gumawa ng bilagro. Yung iba naman daw ang, pagka- ang pagkakatawag nila ay magpagaling ng mga may sakit. Yung iba naman daw ang pagkakatawag nila ay tumulong sa ibang tao. Yung iba naman daw ang binigyan ang kaloob nila ay ang pamumuno. Yung iba naman daw ang pagkakatawag nila ay makapagsalita ng iba't ibang uh, wika or you call it the spirit uh, the gift of tongues. So these are the spiritual gifts. So kung hindi mo pa alam na meron kang spi- if you do not know yet what is your spiritual gift, then ask God. Tanong mo kay Lord. Be excited. Sabi ko nga sa iyo, find that interest. Magkaroon ka ng interest in knowing who God is, then ask him, Lord, ano ba yung pagkakatawag ko? Sabi ko nga sa inyo, ako hindi ko promise. Ako bata pa ako. Si Georgia, ilang taon ka na Georgia? o 32. Ako ay mas matanda lang ng isang taon kay Georgia. I'm only ano. Oo. Hindi hindi din nagkakalayo ang aming edad, okay? Pero yung itong idang edad kong ito, imagine uh, na, I mean like seriously, medyo medyo mayroong mas matanda naman ako kay Georgia. However, however my point there is it's not about the age. My point there is my gosh, ngayon ko lang pa, ngayon ko lang nakilala ang Panginoon. Ngayon ko lang nakita na meron pa akong pala akong kaloob. At first, I thought myself. I thought of myself. I should not be a Christian. Why? Because I always keep mis- uh, I keep always. I always keep doing the same mistake. But it's so amazing to see. Uh, it's so amazing to think like how God has loved me and He has a wonderful plan for me. Same thing also with you. God had called you for a purpose. You are called. Ikaw ay tinawag ng Dios. May pagkakatawag sa yon ang Dios. You are called. Okay. Let us open our Bible right now to Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18. 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 Meron kayo mga Bible dyan? Wala. Okay. Ephesians chapter 6. O oh, sige, oh, just open your ano, Bible. Sa Tagalog yan, kung halimbawa ang hawak mo, if you're holding a, a Tagalog Bible, ang Tagalog ng Ephesians ay Epeso. Ephesians chapter 6, kapitulo sa is, versikulo 18. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18. Amen. Alam mo ba na pag halimbawang ikaw ay nag-aaral, naranasan mo ba yan na ikaw ay nag-aaral, marahil hindi mo natapos ang kolehiyo, marahil hanggang high school ka lang, o hindi mo natapos ang high school, pero na-experience, lahat tayo ay naka, nakaranas na tayo ay pumapasok sa, sa skwelahan. At pag tayo pumapasok sa skwelahan, ano nangyayari doon? Alam merong exam. Di ba, merong pinapasagot sa atin ang teacher, quarter exam, sasagot tayo ng mga quarter exam, kaya final exam. Ano ang unang-unang mababasa mo doon? Pagkatapos mong isulat ang iyong pangalan, pagkatapos isulat mo ang iyong section, ano na yung mababasa mo doon? Ano? Ano mababasa mo doon? If you're going to take the exam, after writing your name, after writing your name, after writing... Uh, 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 very good. Directions. Directions. Very good. Ang mababasa mo lang doon ay direction, instruction. Bakit, ka may, bakit mayroong instruction? Why there has to be an instruction? Para tama ang iyong gawin. Same thing din kung halimbawa ikaw yung mag, magpapasaksak ng, ano, ng, 
ng uh, vaccine, may instruction din yan. Okay. Halimbawa, ikaw ay pumunta, for example, mag apply ng trabaho, may instruction yan. Kukuha ka ng national ID, may instruction din yan. Okay? Halimbawa, for example, ang IATF ngayon, sa mga panahon ngayon ng new normal, hindi ka basa-basa pwede lumabas, kailangan meron kang face shield, kailangan meron kang ano, uh, face mask. Ibig sabihin, that they are giving us instructions on what to do. Same thing also with the Word of God. The Word of God is also an instruction. In the series, sa series ngayon na pinag-aaralan o siya sinimulan ni Pastor, ang lagi niyang tinuturo ay ang <coughs> yung first series, ang kanyang tinuturo ay about healing. Ngayon series na to, ang ngayon series na to, what He was teaching us, all of us, is about prayer. Papaano ba manalangin? Papaano, una-una, papaano ba manalangin? Ano-ano ba dapat ipanalangin? With all of these things, the Lord is giving us, us now an instruction. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18, it says there, Pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. Thank you. Ah, wait lang po. Inom lang po ako. Nararamdaman ko yung mga na nanonood, eh, sinasabi nila, bakit, bakit hindi ko kang binigay? Uh, 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 tubig lang po yan. Okay. The Lord says there, He gave us an instruction there. He is giving you an instruction here. He's also giving me an instruction here. It's, he says here, pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit at all times. Kailan daw? At all times. At all times. Paano yung at all times? Ibig sabihin yan, ibig sabihin ba 24 hours? Well, depende. Hindi ko alam kung paano ka kinakausap ng Panginoon. But when I talk about at all times, when you hear the Lord says, pray for pray for somebody, pray, paano yun? Ano ba yung pray, praying for the Spirit? Maybe pastor is going to teach you about that one. But I'm going to tell you right this one. It may not be in the Spirit. It may not be in Spirit, but you can pray. This is a, These are what you call uh, arrow prayers. Ito yung natutunan namin kay Brother Raymond before. To pray, uh, to do arrow prayers. Ano ba yung arrow prayers? Like for example, ako yung nagluluto. For example, ako yung nagluluto. Ang sarap-sarap ng ina- uh, niluluto kong ano, for example, like a chapche. Biglang naalala ko si Georgia kasi favorite niya yung chapche. So, because, because I remember Georgia, Lord, I am blessing Georgia. Keep her safe, Lord God. Because... Ito yung mga pag-move, ito yung pagkilos ng Panginoon. Hindi, tandaan mo ito, hindi ipapaalala sa iyo ng Panginoon ang isang tao para alaalahanin mo yung mga mali niya sa iyo, para lalo kang mabwisit sa kanya. Hindi, ibibigay sa iyo ng Panginoon ang mga taong ito kasi kailangan nila ng panalangin. Lalo ko patuloy ang, 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 ang ating pastor. He always wakes up in the morning. Ikaw ay natutulog ng alas tres, ikaw ay natutulog ng alas dos, pero pag si Lord, pag ginising siya ng alauna, pag ginising siya ng alas dos, aba, Isidro, bumangon ka. Ayoko nga bumangon. Ayoko nga bumangon. Pag sinabas na sabi niya, ayoko, sabi niya, ayoko nga bumangon, ikaw mananagot. Kasi nga, kaya nga siya pinababangon, kasi nga, he has to pray. Sometimes, it's very clear that he's going to pray for someone. Sometimes, it's vague, hindi niya alam. That's the time that he, he prays in the Spirit. Praise God kasi nga we are in the series of prayer and pastor is go pastor rather pastor is going to teach us or he's going to teach you how to pray in the spirit. The concern of the Lord here right now is he is giving us instruction. He is giving you instruction. Everybody say instruction. Instruction. He is giving you instruction to always pray. To always <clears throat> to always pray. To always pray for who? For yourself. Tandaan mo yan. You don't have to pray for yourself. Oy Napaka-unfair naman. Lagi kong ipapanalangin si JR. <coughs> yung kanyang pangangailangan, lagi kong ipapanalangin. Hindi. Tandaan mo to. Bago ka pa manalangin, kapatid, alam na ng Panginoon kung ano ang kailangan mo. He knows you very much. He knows what you need. Okay? He's, however, he is, what He wants you to do is to do the thing that He likes you. Uh, the, the thing that He likes to hear from you. It, 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 this one is to pray for um, your brothers and sisters. Sabi niya dito, pray in the Spirit at all times. And on every occasion. Pag sinabi mo, in every occasion, birthday, pwede, birthday. Pero when you talk about occasions here, like for example, the church service. Or every occasion, like for example, like meron kang prayer meeting. Yung mga ganun ba? Stay alert and be persistent. Pag sinabi mo, persistent, patuloy. Be persistent 
in your prayers, kanino? For all believers. That is the instruction that the Lord is asking you to do. Papaan mo yan, Brother Penan, eh, hindi ko naman alam ang pangangailangan mo. Remember, ang, alam na ng Panginoon kung ano ang kailangan ko. Hindi mo man, hindi mo man, uh, you don't have to call me like, Brother Penan, ano ba yung kailangan mo? Kasi pagpe-pray kita. You don't have to ask. Why? Because the Lord is going to tell you. Eh, papano yung Brother, uh, 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 brother Penan kung hindi ko alam kung ano dapat ipanalangin? Then pray, Lord, maraming salamat, ibinigay mo sa akin. Si, uh, for example, like si, Lord, maraming salamat, binigay mo sa akin yung asawa ko. Hindi ko po alam kung ano po ang, ang kailangan niya. Ngunit maraming salamat po sa inyong pag-ingat sa kanya. Thank you, Lord God, for bringing him home. Shooting, doing shooting prayers or doing arrow prayers is very important. Hindi mo naman kailangan mag- maglitanya eh. You don't have to, ano, you don't have to um, a, a babble. Babble, when you talk about babble, like use repeated words. Yung, uh, I, I don't like to, ano, I don't like to uh, to correct other religion, pero hindi mo kailangan, yung paulit-ulit ba na panalangin? Tama na yung sabihin mo sa kanya na, Lord, kilala mo yung asawa ko, ingatan mo siya, itinataas ko siya sa'yo. Finish. That's it. Alam na na Lord kung anong gagawin niya doon. Pray at all times. Pray at all times. For your needs? No. Pray at all times and in every occasion for all believers. Everywhere. Dito tayo magtatapos. Can you please go now to 1 Thessalonians. Unang Thessalonica. 1 Thessalonians. Yun po, you will be finding 1 Thessalonians after... After... After Colossians. You will be finding um, the book of Thessalonians after Colossians. Sa Tagalog po, ang Thessalonians ay Thessalonica. Okay. Meron pong dalawang libro yan. Doon tayo sa unang libro. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 1 to 2. Pakibasa nga, George. Amen. 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 Praise God. Alam na ng Panginoon eh. You have been doing this one for a long time. Ha, sometimes, kaso nga lang ang sinabi niya dito, and we are encourage you to do even more. We encourage you. We encourage you. We encourage you to do more. Bakit? Kasi may meron mga pagkakataon na ng lalamig. Meron mga pagkakataon na kaaway mo pa yung dapat mong ipanalangin. So the Lord here, um, the Lord is giving us here an encouragement. Sa, ang kinakausap ka ng Panginoon, I am encouraging you, anak. Ipanalangin mo ang iyong asawa. Ayoko nga. Ginagawa mo na yan. Dati-dati mo yung pinapanalangin. Nagkano kayo ng lang nakantintampuhan eh. Ngayon hindi mo na siya ipapanalangin. Ipanalangin mo pa rin siya. I encourage you to do more. You have been doing sinusunod na natin ang Panginoon like long before. For example, like if you are new a Christian, if you are new a uh, if you are a new Christian, the Lord is telling you right now. The Lord is telling you right now. Now that you have received him and then now that you are praying, this is what I'm telling you right now. Pray for all believers. Kailan? Tuwing kailan? At all times and in every occasion. Praise God. Sige. Uh, bago po tayo magtapos, um, I'm also giving this floor once again to invite those um, brothers and sisters who are with us right now in this online service dito sa Cheer Up the Word Works to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. It doesn't have to be very big. Hindi, hindi na kailangan ano, hindi kailangan, uh, uh, the Lord is not after words. Hindi, hindi importante ang salita sa, sa Panginoon, kundi ang iyong puso na pagtanggap sa Kanya. Sige. So ating, ating ipikit ang ating mga mata at sumunod ka sa aking panalangin. Panginoong Diyos, Panginoong Diyos, inaalala ko po, inaalala ko po, ang aking mga pagkakamali, ang aking mga pagkakamali, patawarin niyo po ako, patawarin niyo po ako, sa pagkakatong ito, 
sa pagkakataong ito. Ngayon na narinig ko. Ngayon na narinig ko. Ang pag-asa na nagmumula sa iyo. Ang pag-asa na nagmumula sa iyo. Tinatanggap kita. Tinatanggap kita. Panginoong Hesus. Panginoong Hesus. Bilang aking Panginoon. Bilang aking Panginoon. At tagapagligtas ng buhay. At tagapagligtas ng buhay. Sa pag sa oras na ito. Sa oras na ito. Inaanyayahan kita. Inaanyayahan kita. Na pumasok, na pumasok sa aking puso, sa aking puso at, ayusin at ayusin ang aking buhay. Ang aking buhay. Pagharian, mo Pagharian mo ang aking buhay. Ang aking buhay. Salamat, po. Salamat po. Aking Panginoong Yeso Kristo. Amen. Amen. Okay. So praise God. Praise God. Remember, um, Romans chapter 10, ba pastor? Chapter 8. Uh, as we, ano, as we confess, ten nine. Let's open. Uh, okay, Romans chapter ten, verse nine. Romans chapter ten, verse nine. If you confess in your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. If you're going to confess it, if you're going, to, if you're going to confess, if you're going to say in your mouth that the Jesus Christ is your Lord and believe in your heart that God died, na namatay ang Panginoon at nabuhay siya. If you believe that God has di- had died, has died and then had died rather and then raised from the dead, you will be saved. Praise God sa pagkakatong ito. So once again, thank you, Lord God. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa pagkakatong ito na nakapakinig kami ng inyong salita. Thank you, Lord God, Panginoon, for this simple instruction and yet, Lord God, meaningful. Salamat, Lord God, Panginoon, na meron pala akong kaloob. Nawa, Lord God, Panginoon, sa aking uh, pagkakalalim, Panginoon, ng aking pagkilala sa inyo, Lord God, ay makita ko, Lord God, Panginoon, ang tunay ng aking pagkakatawa. Ngunit sa pagkakatong ito, Lord God, you had instructed me, inuutosan mo na ako, Panginoon, na meron pala akong layunin at maraming salamat sa layunin ko. At ang layunin ko, Panginoon, isa sa mga layunin ko, Panginoon, ang ipanalangin ang aking mga kapwa, Kristiyano, Lord God, all around the world, Lord God. I may not know them, hindi ko man sila kilala. Ngunit, Panginoon, it, ngayon pa lang, Lord God, itinataas ko na sila sa inyo. Tama ba, Pastor? Second, second Peter ba? Second Peter chapter 1. Uh, pray for the... Pray for... Uh-huh. First Timothy chapter 2. Oh, First Timothy chapter 2. Sige, ibu, ibu, idulat, ibulat muna muna atin ating mga mata. At na natin sa First, first Timothy chapter 2. chapter 2 verse 1. Ang sabi niya doon, I urge you first of all to pray for all people. Ask God to help them intercede in their behalf and give thanks to them. People, ha, hindi mo sila kilala. You may not know them. That, that's what I do right now. Sa, etong salita ng Diyos ay hindi ito noon pa. Itong salita ng Diyos ay instruction din na binigay sa amin ni Pastor. Pumasok sa aking puso at ngayon, to, ngayon po ay ginagawa ko ngayon. So I'm in also inviting you to pray for all people. Sabi niya doon in, first, uh, in, in Ephesians chapter 6, sabi niya doon in Ephesians chapter 6 verse, 1, uh, verse 18, pray at all times. Sino ang pangmalangin mo? People. Okay. Praise you, Lord God. Uh, marami salamat, Lord God, Panginoon, sa inyong pag-abot sa kanilang mga pangangailangan. Salamat, Lord God, sa kagalingan ng mga sakit nila, Lord God, COVID man o hindi, nasa ospital man o nasa bahay. Salamat sa inyong pag-abot, Lord God, ng kanilang mga gamot o kaya mga pananalapin na pambili ng gamot at uh, uh, pambayad ng ospital. Higit sa lahat, marami salamat, Panginoon, sa kapayapaan, Panginoon, na mararanasan nila sa kanilang puso, Lord God, that they are healed, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord God, for hearing our prayers. And we thank you, Lord God, for giving us, Lord God, this chance. Salamat, Lord God, at pinagpapala po namin ang cheer up the word works, Lord God. Nawa, Lord God, ay patuloy itong makaabot, Lord God, sa mga pangangailangan spiritual, Lord God, ng aming mga kapatiran sa buong mundo. Thank you, Lord God. Once again, to you be the glory and honor, Lord God. This is our prayer with so much thanksgiving in our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. Hallelujah.